What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, all of my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, we're going to start off with angel numbers. And then we're going to see what else spirit wants you to know. If anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. <clears throat> and if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's go. We have 22. Scorpio, you have mastered something in your life. This indicates that your life is balanced on the highest plane, and you have the ability to manifest whatever that you want. At this time, you guys know the energy of the full moon is out, okay? Manifest, Scorpio, because you got the ability to manifest things in your life so that you can create your own reality. You're encouraged to state positive affirmations so that you have abundance and prosperity. So right now, Scorpio spirit could be encouraging you to say positive affirmations, say positive things about your life, okay? Show gratitude during this time so that you will always have abundance and prosperity. We have 105. Your intuition is being divinely guided at this time. Trust your feelings and the things that are being shown to you, okay? So some of you guys, maybe there are some things that's being revealed to you about yourself, people in your past, people from your past, people around you, you know what I'm saying, situations. Or some of you, you already knew some of this stuff. You just needed that confirmation, okay? Trust what's being shown to you. Trust your feelings, whatever feelings that you're feeling towards certain people. You know, it could be time to release some people that no longer serve you, okay? Trust whatever feelings that, that you're feeling at this time. Because the universe is trying to show you something. All the moves that you made now, you're being divinely guided to make those moves. That means the divine is here guiding you, leading you, giving you downloads, showing you exactly where to go, how to go, and when to go, okay? All right, let's get into this reading, Scorpio. Bam, out the gate. All right, Scorpio, someone here, I feel like, had a hard time expressing how they really felt. But it was really simple. This person really wanted you, okay? Okay, but I feel like this is someone who never expressed it to you, okay? So someone here had a hard time expressing what's on their mind, okay? Telling you how they really feel. But it was really simple because, shit, this person really wanted you. But I feel like they didn't tell you that. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. These ones to come out. All right, Scorpio, we got the future. This is someone who daydreams about your future all the time. They dream about y'all going on adventures, going on trips, you know, doing all type of stuff, going on together. This is someone who wanted all, okay? This is what this person wants from you. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, they did not tell you this, okay? You never had no clue, no idea that these are the things that the person thought about when they thought about you, okay? Somebody here, Scorpio, wants to have a family with you, okay? They want you to have their baby, Scorpio, okay? You could be wanting this person to have your child. They feel like, Scorpio, you would be an amazing parent, and they can't dream of having a family or raising a family with anyone else, baby, but you, okay? Let's get a couple more. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. What is it that Scorpio beautiful asses me to know? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Mm. All right, Scorpio. But Scorpio, I feel like you don't think this person's so special. You might have thought this person was special in the past, but I don't feel like you see this person as being special anymore, okay? You don't like the energy that you got from this person, okay? And I feel like you like you used to view this person as being someone special, but I feel like you don't view them that way anymore, okay? This is someone you really didn't like the energy that you got from this person. I feel like you was giving this person, you know, energy, this energy, but you was getting a different type of energy, a different type of vibe 
from them. Like you didn't get the same energy that you put into this person is what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Spirit. So you don't feel this person is special. They may have had a special place in your heart in the past, but they ain't so special right now, okay? Tell us more, Holly Spirit. All right, Scorpio. Why? Because this is someone, Scorpio, that wanted the attention of others, okay? So you was dealing with an attention whore. Somebody was addicted to the attention of others, okay? Other men, other women. Like someone here, I feel like they really had low self-esteem. And that's why they really liked the attention that they was getting from other men and other women because it really made them feel good about themselves, okay? So this could have been someone who was involved with someone else. But they weren't paying their they ass no damn attention. So it was like when other men complimented them or other women complimented them, it made this person feel good. It made them feel like, okay, I do still got it. You know, what's wrong with, with old boy, old girl? They had like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got this, I ain't got that. But all these other males and all these other females, you know what I'm saying? They see me or they view me as something different. I feel like this person, they love that feeling because that's what they wanted. And at that time, that's what they needed in their life, okay? This is someone who felt very incomplete, very insecure, lacked confidence in themselves, okay? Their self-esteem had plummeted for whatever reason, okay? And they, they didn't feel whole if they didn't get the attention from other men and other women. You know what I'm saying? So some of you guys could have really been dealing with an intention for it. And that's why I said this person ain't that damn special to you no more. They could have had a special place in your heart in the past, but you like, man... You know, to hell with them right now because this is someone they just needed too much damn attention. Like, whatever attention you gave this person, you was like, damn, that ain't enough. Like, this person needed your attention plus more. And I feel like you weren't willing to go that extra mile because a lot of you knew that that extra attention this person that you was going to give them, it really stroked that ego. And Scorpio, we don't stroke no egos over here, right? So I feel like, Scorpio, you could have been dealing with, it, uh, with an attention whore, okay? They was addicted to the attention they was receiving from other men and other women. And the problem is, Scorpio, this person has not apologized for their shit yet, okay? You don't know. This person hadn't told you that they know how bad they hurt you, okay? They ain't apologized for all the pain that they caused you, okay? Because this person, they knew that you didn't deserve none of that shit. But this is someone who has never apologized for what they did, okay? So I feel like for some of you guys, that's why you don't look at this person the same, you know what I'm saying? That's why you kind of ain't interested in reconnecting with them or none of that type shit because you never received this apology from this person, okay? They knew that you didn't deserve the treatment that they gave you, but they still ain't apologized for it. Let's see who we talking about. For some of you guys, you can have dreads or braids, okay? This can be about someone age 55, 60. We got light complexion. This can be someone who has curves, wears caps or hats. Long wavy hair. You can be the older female. They could be light brown eyes. Slim. Age 40, 45. And someone who has waves. All right. You can also be someone who wears lashes. All right. So let's see who this reading is about. Messages for my Scorpio. Who it's about. All right, Scorpio. We got Cancer, Capricorn, Leo, and Sag. We got Libra, Heavy Cancer, and Gemini. And we also have Heavy Cancer, Dying Cancer, Heavy Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed. I just saw 818 on the clock. Love you, Scorpio.